What's up guys, Rob the Awesome here, and today we're going to be looking at how to use one of my favorite weapons in the game, and for a very good reason too, the Solemn Vow. This weapon can provide many opportunities for self-defense and combination weapon strategies that can keep you alive and help out your team in a variety of ways. To underestimate this weapon is a fault many people have and should be respected for the high quality weapon that it is. Let's go! In order to get the most out of this weapon and truly value its gameplay mechanics, we need to dive right into this weapon stats and point out what each one is specifically used for. To start, the Solemn Vow gives the medic the ability to see the enemy's health, giving a clear vision on where the enemy stands in terms of attack or retreat. Knowing this information can be crucial to keep yourself and your teammates alive when in proper communications. However, the downside to having this amazing health vision is that your melee firing speed is 10% slower than normal, making hits slightly delayed when you need to get those powerful hits in. 10% slower firing speed does seem like a big deal, but in the grand scheme of things, it isn't too bad and is relatively close to normal swing speed anyways. Other than that, this weapon seems relatively similar to stock, providing 65 damage per hit and nothing much else to note. Now that we've looked into the stats, let's focus on how to effectively use this weapon in combat. Medic melees are very situational in terms of usage, and they accommodate for two different situations that the medic faces on the battlefield. The medic is either healing his teammates, which is what he's doing a majority of the time, or he is defending himself from enemy attackers, whether that be in combat or running away. Most of the melees only help with one of the situations I've listed, and useless for the other. However, the Solemn Bell works well for every scenario the medic is put in. Take the first situation for example, where the medic is constantly healing his teammates. Any sort of active effect a medic melee has is totally useless. Running headfirst into danger to get a tiny melee swing in is suicide, so any sort of passive effect really shines in a situation like this. The Solemn Vow provides a special health vision where you can see the enemy's health in order to make proper judgement calls. When up against a swarm of enemies, you can inform teammates about whether or not you should sustain a push. And even when communications was out of the question, you can make proper judgement calls on whether or not to abandon the situation to save your own life. Leaving a heal target because they overextended isn't a bad thing at all. The medic is too important of a class to die for stupid reasons. The Solemn Vow opens up a world of information to make sure that you get the best outcome, and in this particular situation, that 10% slower swing speed is pretty much non-existent. But what about the second situation, where a medic has to defend himself through flight or fight? When getting countered, your heal targets could be completely wiped out, leaving you vulnerable to attacks. If you haven't assessed the situation beforehand and abandoned your teammates before things got out of hand, then you are in a situation where scouts and soldiers are going to be tracking you down. Relying on intense medic speed and surfing explosions isn't enough to ensure a safe retreat. Sometimes, you're going to need to stand your ground and execute proper weapon switch strategies. By looking at the enemy's health, you can determine how many hits you'll need to be taken down. Mixed in with the area you are in, health pack knowledge, and cutting corners, you've got yourself a battle you can win. Though the downside of having a slower swing speed may not look promising, minus 10% swing speed really isn't anything at all when you combine a single swing with a Crusader crossbow attack. One 65 damage swing into a quick bolt can do some serious damage in less than a second, doing on average 110 damage, giving you the edge in the fight. The moment you switch back to your melee, that slow swing speed downside becomes non-existent, if it even existed to begin with. Having this extra information can be a lifesaver for both you and your teammates alike, and with a non-existent downside, you can be sure you'll get the edge you need to win the battle. The Solemn Vow has been neglected as worthless for some time, but personally, this weapon can be more useful than a lot of the other melees that the game has to offer. Thank you guys so much for watching. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. If you like these types of videos, leave a like and subscribe. Maybe even tell me what weapon I should review for next time. Remember to be awesome, stay awesome, and to have an awesome day. I'm Rob the Awesome, and I'll see you guys later. Ciao for now. Motherfucker, I'm awesome. No, you're not, dude. Don't lie. I'm awesome. I'm driving around in my mom's ride. I'm awesome. A quarter of my life gone by, and I met all my friends online. Motherfucker, I'm awesome. I will run away from a brawl. I'm awesome. There's no voicemail, nobody calls. I'm awesome. I can't afford to buy eight balls, and I talk to myself on my Facebook wall. You know my pants sag.